So now in this video, we're gonna look at a DC to five volt out uh, converter. So it takes a higher voltage in, it's nine volts right now. This unit needs at least eight volts. You can see that uh, when I put it to seven, the blue light goes out, it cuts uh, power, it auto shuts off. So a little bit below eight, it auto uh, shuts off. But in any case, you can see the clips for the unit there and the other little alligator clips are the power supply there. We're kind of simulating a battery though. We could go up to 12 volts to better simulate a 12 volt battery. That is, uh, you know, uh, somewhere around halfway charge or whatever. I can't remember the exact voltages. But in any case, there we go. We plugged in the Drac USB tester and you can see there's no current going out because we don't have a load yet. That's the current needed for both the uh, converter and the USB tester. So we're gonna take my flashlight here and I think we'll top off the battery uh, pretty quickly. It's resetting the capacity. So it lets you know how much current had flown through it if you go to uh, capacity. You can also do power. If you do this, it will cycle through all the, uh, the voltage current, the power, and the capacity. But uh, we don't uh, care about that. We're just going to look at the voltage and the current. So in any case, let's... Uh, Power on the flashlight, you see the current uh, jumped up. And I think the battery is pretty much topped off. I think that's why it's kind of uh, going down a little bit now. So we have uh, the main thing though. You can see we got you know more than twice the voltage. It's not a perfect conversion. You have some losses. But there you can see we're a little bit above uh, twice as much voltage powering the USB output there and uh, from what we're getting at the USB output. And the current that's going in to all of this is about half of what we are getting out. That is the main thing. We can, uh, you know, you could use a 24 volt battery with this too. Both the uh, converter and the drock unit can go above uh, 30 volts, uh, a little bit above 30 volts. So in any case, there you can see a lot more voltage, a lot less current, but the output is holding steady. It's whatever the load needs at uh, five volts right there. So it's a converter. It's actually a buck converter. That's where you have a higher voltage. It's dropping that voltage, but the amount of current the power supply is uh, providing goes up when it comes to the output. It's converting voltage and current. If it was a perfect conversion, as I said before, there'd be the exact same power at the power supply as uh, the rest of the load. So in any case, this is a quick video series. We're going to end it there. I'm going to actually put this back to five volts so I don't accidentally over voltage a load and uh, probably unplug that, turn the flashlight off. So that's one of my tips. Don't have the power supply at a voltage that will damage something um, if you forget to lower the voltage first. So that's it for this video. Check out one of the other ones I posted on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.